unveiling these super popular booties today. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome in. I do upload two new videos every single week, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. There's been something that's been on my mind and in my heart lately, and I wanted to address it. My goal is never to encourage you to spend more than you have, to covet more than you have. My objective is and always has been to help you be the best version of yourself and also to enhance the beautiful woman that you already are. The one that's already there with all of the things that you have right now. So when I offer suggestions or outfit ideas, look in your closet, see what you have already, write down the concept, take a picture of the outfit, take a screenshot of the outfit and recreate that concept. You can go to a thrift store, you can go to a consignment store, you can find similar pieces, or again, pieces you have in your own closet to recreate the same concept. So I know this is a time of year when we tend to spend a lot of money. It's often a time of year when we feel pressure to go into debt or spend more than we actually should. I just wanna remind you that that's not why I'm here. That's never been my mission. I'm not here to sell you. I'm here to provide guidance. I'm here to provide ideas. I'm here to empower you and to encourage you to be your most beautiful, most stylish self. So I just wanted to say that. But in this lookbook, I wanted to show you a bunch of ways to style these exact booties. They're by Vince Camuto. They're actually a very popular booty. A lot of fashion bloggers have featured them. And they're really popular because they're really chic and cool, but they're also very accessible and neutral and versatile. Sometimes this color booty can be tricky to wear because it is a lighter color. We tend to kind of gravitate toward darker color booties. So I thought it would be interesting to share a lookbook where we only feature this booty. And then all the outfits are built around the booty. These booties, just like all Vince Camuto shoes, run true to size. So order your normal size if you do order this exact pair. And then what do you wear with them in terms of socks? You can wear a ped sock or a no-show sock. That will work beautifully. Before I dive into the lookbook, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. Now let's get started. The first look is ideal for those of you who have short waists. And I've talked about how to dress if you have a short waist in a separate video, and you should definitely check that out. I'll put a link to it below. It also works well for a variety of body types. And it's this really cool sweater. I love this sweater by Leith. It has a turtleneck at the top that is very fitted, and it doesn't gape or drape, which I love with the turtleneck. There's nothing that drives me more crazy than a turtleneck that's flapping around in the breeze. Also, I love how it's roomy in the bust area. It has that, that dolman sleeve, but then it's very fitted at the bottom. And you can play with the hemline of the sweater. You can cheat it up, you can cheat it down. So this would work really well with leggings also. So if those of you are looking for tops for leggings, this could be a great option. It's very soft, and I also absolutely love the color. This would be a great layering top. It's very lightweight and thin. And then it would also look fabulous with like a scarf over it. And then I just wore a simple bobble bar pre-layered necklace with it. The pre-layered necklaces are really great when you're in a hurry, but you want that layered look and you don't wanna have to deal with creating the layers yourself. And this one is very simple and feels very classic. It doesn't feel like too crazy. On my lower body, one of my favorite pairs of jeans. These are by Frame and they are la high in a cropped length. So on me, they fit like a regular length, but if you are on the tall side, they will fit like a cropped jean. I just love the wash of these jeans. It's a dark wash, there's no fading, no whiskering, and it's a very slimming color and wash. And then of course the booties, I've got on my little ped socks. You know, I could cuff these jeans one time, but I felt like they stayed in the booties well enough. I didn't need to cuff them. If you're having a dilemma about, you know, jeans and booties and how to style your jeans with your ankle booties, I did just shoot a video about that and you can watch that video and I'll put a link to it below. I wanted to turn up the glamour with the second outfit idea and revolve the look around a gorgeous faux fur. So the great thing about faux fur is that number one, it's faux. Number two, faux fur 
usually is in an accessible price point. So you don't have to spend a ton of money to get a faux fur that looks really luxurious and really expensive and really beautiful. So here's a perfect example. This one is by Topshop. And what I love about this particular one by Topshop is that it is longer, you know, but not so long. And then it also is this gorgeous brown tone. So I love mixing brown tones. You guys know I've been building up my wardrobe basics with brown tones this season. And so here's another piece I can add in. It's just a beautiful, glamorous faux fur coat. And then under the coat, I'm just wearing a white turtleneck that's ribbed. It's very lightweight. It's by Veronica Beard. This one's a few years old, but there's a newer version, same material, but the newer version is actually better because it doesn't have the ruffles on the shoulders. And while I love the ruffle detail on this particular one, it's a little bit challenging when you want to layer it under things. So I would recommend getting the newer version for sure, but you could do anything under here that you want, like any kind of white blouse, any kind of white turtleneck. You just have to make sure that it's thin enough that it will layer underneath your coats and jackets, but then also presentable enough or cute enough to stand on its own for when you take the faux fur jacket off. And then the bag with this look is the Chloe Tess bag. It's in the medium size, which is the bigger of the two sizes. And it's in a color called sepia, but they have a range of colors now. And they even have some beautiful croc embossed ones. So for those of you that may be considering a test bag, I would get the croc embossed in the small. The third look is the same obviously the same booties, same jeans. And then I paired that with a beautiful Angora sweater by Frame. It's a Fair Isle sweater. I love Fair Isle sweaters for Colorado. I feel like during ski season and winter and holiday time, it's just like the perfect quintessential ski town sweater. So when I saw this one with the beautiful brown tones and then felt the fabric and how soft it is and snuggly it is, I knew that it was definitely a keeper and it is an investment piece, but I think it's one of those sweaters I'll have for years to come and really enjoy wearing and really have that feeling like it's really snuggly and soft and feels good on my skin. With the sweater, a beautiful hat by Rag and & Bone. And this is in the medium, size medium. So it does come in different sizes and that's a little bit tricky when you're ordering online, but I just kind of guessed and thought medium and it was right on. I have it in a slightly different color combination, but I love it so much that I wanted to get it in the lighter beige as well. It's just a really beautiful hat. And again, it feels like so Colorado to me. <laughs> I love this hat by Rag & Bone. If you, you know, live in kind of a cooler climate, you may enjoy this. The next outfit I wanted to share with you is the same booties with a dress. And one of the beautiful things about these booties is that they are, for me, they are really skin color. Like you can see, they really do match my skin tone. And then this V on the side really does frame an ankle bone. So it really looks like, even though it's a, a chunky kind of everyday booty, that's not super dressy, it really does look quite elegant and sophisticated with dresses. And that's one of the reasons why I think this is so popular because it can kind of pull double duty there. I paired it with this dress by Sam Edelman in a rust floral print. Do you guys remember this dress from the Nordstrom sale this summer? You know, I haven't had a ton of opportunities to wear it, but I still love it. And I think it's just such a fresh, lovely dress. And I'm not hugely into floral print, but this floral print really, to me, looks very sophisticated and elevated, I think because of the color story and also the scale of the print. Sometimes when you go full on floral and they're big old flowers, it just doesn't look as luxe and elegant as maybe some of the smaller scale prints. So just be really careful with floral print. This floral print I think is really elegant. And what I also love about this dress is that you've got a little buildup on the shoulder and then you've got that waist definition to really create more of an hourglass shape, which is almost essential when you have this all over print. And then the handkerchief hem, really cool. And the dress is lined, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about a slip or anything for underneath this dress. You could always throw a cardigan over this dress too, if you wanted an extra layer, or if you just wanted to make it look and feel more casual, like maybe you're wearing it on a Saturday or a Sunday and you want it to feel like daytime appropriate, like you're not pushing it or, or dressing up too much, that cardigan will make it definitely feel less dressy. And so will the booties because the booties definitely make it feel more casual as well. Next, I wanted to show you another dress that I absolutely love. And you guys will remember this from my neutral 
colors lookbook. If you missed that one, I'll put a link to it below. I featured this dress in that lookbook and I wanted to show it to you again, paired with different shoes. So in this case, I'm pairing it with these same booties. And again, you've got the leg lengthening color, you've got the cutouts on the side to frame the ankle bone in the leg. So it looks quite elegant. It looks quite sophisticated and beautiful. This dress is really warm. It's really comfortable. I don't have any shapewear on underneath it in this video, but if I were wearing it out on the town, I for sure would do shapewear just to make sure that the tummy was smoothed out because it is quite fitted in the tummy area. And you could try a belt, you could not wear a belt, you could wear a scarf with it, you could do a moto jacket over it, you could wear a cardigan over it. You have options here with this dress. It is one of those that will layer beautifully. So that's just something to think about. I love the length of the dress. I love the fact that it has sleeves leaves. It's like the perfect 40 plus sweater dress. As long as you have the shapewear to kind of keep the tummy smoothed out, then it's perfect. <laughs> okay, so let's take one last look at those five outfit ideas for these very neutral Vince Camuto booties. These heavy hitters, very popular, best-selling booties among fashion bloggers. I think you'll really enjoy these booties. They come in a zillion colors, by the way, so if you don't like this color, there may be another color that you do like. There is no side zip, but they do have a zip in the back to make them easy to get on and off. And then, of course, the chunky heel also makes them easier to walk in. I just want you all to know that I'm incredibly grateful for your support and for you watching my channel. It really means a lot to me. So thank you. And thank you again to Nordstrom for sponsoring this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.